for Tuesday, February 25th, 2014, 13.45 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. In um, April of 2013, we found a, a registration form for what's called the Direct Energy Symposium. And these are high-level corporations, academia, Department of Defense, Department of Energy that gathered. So we tried, I tried, and another a couple targets tried to um, register online. And then what happened was I was being a little stupid, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. So I was flagged to take me off the list. So what it was was um, you had to register. So, you know, I put my name. And then my title was the victim of your weapons field testing. My, and then what you had to do was the event was called the DE SIS Symposium. And then I said that my title was the victim of your weapons field testing. And then I nicknamed myself Targeted Individual. And the company that I was coming from was tortured via non-lethal weapon radiation exposure. So what happened was I was red flagged by the Department of Defense to take me off the list. But someone within the Department of Defense must be wanting to... Um, to uh, expose it because a lot of times they'll say well you know you can't believe what you see on the internet so here's a physical document that came to me in the mail and somebody must be watching over because they wanted to prove and they put me back on it so that I could get a uh, what's called the um, the 16th annual directed energy symposium sponsored by the directed energy professional society what it is is a registration form and directed energy education workshop and then it tells you about directed energy so it's the 16th annual directed energy symposium provides a forum for the exchange of technical and pro uh, programmatic information in the field related to directed energy source, directed energy effects, and the development, testing, and fielding of directed energy weapons and related technologies. The symposium will be attended by a wide range of specialists including researchers, managers, policy makers, and executives from government, institutions, Department of Defense, Department of Energy, and other national laboratory programs, offices, uh, officers, the intelligence community, etc., industry, academia, and other scientific and future of uh, directed energy technology and scientific research and programs. So, I'm sure you can clip this, you know, get the information. So that's the form. So let's open it up. This is a registration form, okay? The symposium information, it tells you about the symposium, the schedule, but this is the critical aspect of this whole thing, okay? It's about security clearances. The planetary session will be open to all attendees, the highest level of classified information to B presented at the 2014 annual Direct Energy Symposium in secret, no foreign, which means secret and no foreigners, okay? Participation in the classified session is restricted to United States citizens from government, industry, and academia with appropriate security clearances. Please note that some sessions at the symposium will be limited distribution C and D which restricts participation in those sessions to United States citizens who are employees of the United States federal government or its contractors limited distribution C or US citizens who are employees of the Department of Defense and its contractors limited distribution D more information including instruction on submitting visit requests is available online. A picture ID will be required at check-in and upon entry into the classified sessions videotaping. Okay, this is, you understand that? A picture ID will be required at the check-in and upon entry into the classified sessions videotaping or audio recording 
of any session at the DEPS meeting is prohibited. Laptops, cell phones, Palm, Pilot, and other such electronics will not be allowed in the classified sessions. Please do not bring them to the classified meeting site. Okay? So here's symposium overview. It gives you a schedule of what's going on. Registration times, what the courses are, the short courses that will be covered, lasers, and then these are the technical topics, okay? Electrons and lasers, laser technology, the lethality of the weapons, radio frequency technology, round table panel, modeling, radio frequency systems and demonstrators, and standard and terminology. This is, this is part of the registration form that I was supposed to get taken off of, but obviously there's someone in the Department of Defense that realizes that there's some shit going on. Okay? So my, my point is, what the fuck are highly classified direct energy weapons doing in the hands of radicalized civilians on the streets of America? Where I was supposed to get taken off of this because I do not have a security clearance. I'm a civilian, but I'm the victim of their weapons field testing. I want to know why the hell a highly classified meeting of engineers and academia and corporations and Department of Energy, Department of Energy, Depar Department of Defense, what the fuck are their fe weapons doing on the streets of America? in the hands of radicalized civilian extremists who are torturing people mercilessly. Oh, this is not a Mickey Mouse game. These people under false flag operations, false flag operations, were given criminal access to biological technological weapons for the military and other agencies to field test, to calibrate, this isn't some Mickey Mouse thing where you're walking around thinking that this is a game. These aren't games. The weapons that they're firing at targeted individuals are highly classified military weaponry. And civilians have access to them. Not only is it in violation of posse comitatus, but I want to know who the fuck gave these civilian radicalized extremists access to these Department of Defense weapons.